in and welcome to the Sports Bar and Talk Sport with Jeremy Hara. And here he's back alongside me, Jason Cundy. Ah, has anyone seen Ipswich? <laughs> has anyone seen Ed Sheeran? <laughs> Another big night, Carabao Cup action. We want to hear from you. West Ham leave it late. They beat Bournemouth. Uh, Bowen's winner was scored with his hand, though. No VR at this stage. Bournemouth fans, how you feel? You feel a bit robbed? Do you care if you've gone out? 03 717 Newcastle beat Forest on penalties. Uh, they were celebrating like they've won the trophy. I'll tell you what, though. One of the worst penalties I've ever seen. What is the worst penalty you've ever seen? And you, if anyone phones up and says, show me an R in the Carabao Cup final. You're not going to get on. 03 717 And Ipswich, they're beating on penalties by Wimbledon. Fans getting worried about the season. We'll also chat about tomorrow's England squad. Oh, England. Oh, here we go again. And a general knowledge live trivia at midnight. 03 Hello, matey. How are you? I'm good. Yeah? I'm good. The How's Carabao life? Cup is back. Yeah? It's back. Did you have a nice time on drive yesterday? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah? And, uh, yeah, a nice time. Yeah, you left us again? Well, no. I, you know, I didn't leave, mate. Any opportunity no, no, to jump ship, no, you're off. No, I, I'm, hel- I'm helping out. I'm a, I'm a company man. You're a company uh, man. I'm a company man, and uh, they were begging me. Yeah. Begging me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I thought, do you know what? I'll help them out. But I'm back, Jay. You're back. Is Goldstein back? He's back. Is he? back. Yeah. How Gold, is he? Goldstein How's he back. feeling after his drumming in um, uh, Atlanta? Yeah, I, I think, you know, I think perhaps the, the, the drubbing, his pride may have been dented slightly, but I think the fact that he went out there and experienced it is probably... Needs uh, knocking down a few pegs, though, don't you? Well, yeah, I, he, he, I think the experience that he went through was one once in a lifetime. So yeah. I think he's gone out there and free already in America. Mm. Him, and, him and Ryan. Be would... back, mate. Nice to have you back. And, uh, good to be back, Jay. Yeah. Good to, good to be it? back. Yeah. You sure? Really looking forward to because this Because Pennant was great, honestly, last night. That's not what I heard. Right? Again, management begging me to come back. <laughs> <laughs> but we're back, mate. Football. She, you know, do you know when you're back now, properly? When there's knockout cup competition. Early doors. We're, we're two weeks into the season. Yeah. Now, teams are getting dumped out. Dumped yeah. out of the cup competition. Yeah, yeah, Forest yeah. gone. Ipswich gone. used to get gone. dumped, didn't you? Get dumped out then, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but by the way, congratulations to Newcastle. Tenali, he looked good tonight. He played well. He looked good. He, you know, there's a play. You know, some. You just look at a player and you think, yeah. there's something about you. You're just a player. Yeah. No one, just, uh, did anyone ever say that about no, you? No, no. Uh, I'm sure they did. Did they? Yeah. Uh, did anyone ever look at Jason yeah, Cunney and go, that's a no, player there? I, do you know what? That's my, a player. I, I, I reckon they probably did, but not on the Tonali level. Probably the steward where you kept hitting him. Yeah, find him, find him. I'll find you, don't worry. Keep <laughs> moving, movement, keep going, keep running. <laughs> But Tonali looked tonight. He does look like a player. Do you know, there's just, there's just something about certain players, the, the appreciation. Wharton looks like just, a player, just, doesn't he? Yeah, they just look good. Tonali, so he didn't look like he'd been gone for 10 months. So congratulations to Newcastle, it, um, Forrest and Ipswich. I mean, the, the a one-year penalty. What? What? What is he doing? What is that? I, I mean, mean, it's unacceptable, I, isn't it? For a, like, if a centre-half does that, you can almost accept it. You know, but for the fifth penalty taker, probably your best penalty taker to step up mm, and, it was, and to and and do was what rotten, he did. Jay. It was Jay. so bad. Jay, it was terrible, mate. You know, just mate. I know people miss penalties, and the best players in the world miss them, mate. I know that. But at that point, there hit the target. Terrible, mate. Terrible. But um, mm. what's the worst penalty you've ever seen? <sighs> Pat Nevin. Pat Nevin at Chelsea took a penalty. This is years ago. I'll show you in a minute. Years ago. Right, it barely made the line. <laughs> the keeper dived the wrong way. He's had time to get up and go and get it. No the other side way. Go, I promise you, mate, it's one of the worst penalties you've ever seen. I promise you. Pat Levin is the worst one I've ever seen. Yeah. Didn't yeah. Jorginho take one and he just picked it up off the floor? Didn't it, did that happen once? Was that the little hop, skip and a jump? The hop, skippy, jumpy one. Yeah. It's one of those. If, Do you if ever you're, take a pen? You're joking, aren't you? Did you ever like have a penalty you know shootout what? where you had in, to be I like, oh no, Cundy's in, got to take know one? I was in. This is this is going back a long time, obviously. I, w- I think I was the next up. The next up. And I'm like, oh, no. no you- <laughs> was you panicking? Damn right. No, no, it's, it's different. For, you know, like you- Stewart's ducky. Yeah, but you don't, you don't, the goal. You don't want your centre-half taking a pen, do you? You don't really. Oh, Harry Maguire's unreal pens. Okay, there's the exception to the rule, right? You know, Beckenbauer might have been good at it. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. But generally, you want your centre-forward, you want your, your attacking midfielder, you want them taking pens, don't you? 
You do. Yeah. Well, you I mean, Pickford's good at pens. Yeah, he is, to be fair. You know, is, but yeah, just, yeah. you got to have technique. Obviously, you're not blessed with too much technique, was <laughs> Mate, you? Just put, put your leg. I never took one as a pro. You never took a penalty? As a pro, never took one. Never? Never. Never, I never found myself in that situation, mate. I mean, it's I'm hard sure, to take one on the bench. I'm sure, there's, I'm sure there's plenty of players out there that throughout their career don't take pens. Unless, unless you... Yeah, I mean, there, there must be, right? There must be players that have never taken a penalty. I mean, John Terry... He, took, he definitely took one. He took one in the Champions League final. I, that's what I mean, right? I can't, I'm trying to think of if, if he ever took another one. It might have been the only penny. Oh, I'm come sure on, he's mate. taken another one. Of course he has. I oh, know. When you've got Didier and Ashley Cole and Luis. Yeah, and but Matt. it must be. Yeah, but if you get into, you know, a competition or a Carabao Cup, I mean. Maybe. It, maybe you're right. Maybe I can't, I can't think. But you I can't generally. Believe you've never took a pen. Never took a pen, Jay. What would you do? Stand it. <laughs> Stick it in the stand. <laughs> Find a steward. Would you put your foot for it? I don't know, mate. I don't know what I'd do. I don't know. Hey, do you know what makes me laugh now about penalties? And it was never a thing when I played. It might have been a thing when you played. They go down the middle. That was never a thing when I played. Yeah. Going down. Isak took one, right? Yeah. Lift it over the goalkeeper. Gives you another option. It gives you... So the keeper dives out the way. You, you, you can't miss, really. You shouldn't miss, right? But that never really... I don't remember that being a thing. It's only when... Pier, remember Pirlo dinked one down past Joe Hart? Do you remember that? In the World Cup? No. No? Oh, Joe Hart... Was jumping up and down. Shevchenko's penalty, the dink in the final. That was a, that's a shocker. Oof. That was yeah. a bad penalty. Yeah, it was bad. Was yeah. it? Yeah. Old Jersey dude. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad pen. Um, what did you make of Newcastle? Are you talking about Tanali? They go through. Do you think they care? Look, uh, after the game, obviously we'll Longstaff scores. I know it's a penalty shootout. Mm -hmm. Bit of emotion in it. But it, it seems like it's a competition that they want to win. Well, look, what, Newcastle. Do you care if you go out? Right, Newcastle United Football Club are one of the worst teams at picking up silverware in English football. Right? Yeah. They are one of the... They have not won a major trophy, I think in like 56, 57 years, and don't be giving me Texaco Cup rubbish, right? <laughs> don't be giving me none of that, right? Yeah. I'm talking about major... Ma cup, mate. Good ma competition. Ma I mean, Spurs, I mean, you're not too far behind. But they haven't won, <laughs> mate, they haven't won... They haven't won a league title in, in a, a 80 or whatever he is. FA, they haven't won one, mate. This is a football club. That because the money they've spent, the players they've got, and the journey they're on, they have got to win something. They have got to win a trophy. And if it's the Carabao Cup, let me tell you now, there ain't a Newcastle fan listening to this that will not that will, that will say no to that. They will take that. And I see Longstaff celebrate that. And you know what it's like as a... As a you want to win every game. But as a, as a, as a player, imagine being the first player to win a major trophy in New, for, for Newcastle. Would you be buzzing in, in like if Chelsea won it? Years. Would you be buzzing it's if Chelsea like, won a Carabao Cup? It's, it's like, yes, I would. It's, I would, but buzzing's different, right? Because. What do you mean? Well, it's different. You know, we, we won the Champions League. Do you know what I mean? Buzz, buzzing's not a word I'd use. I think Newcastle fans would be buzzing. I think Chelsea. Do you know what? Yeah, I think I'll be buzzing. Yeah, just you, 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 you've just decided. I've just decided. You, uh, you pictured it in your head. I've End just, of the season. I've got. Because, Chelsea lifted trophy. Because. Uh, Chasing Cundy's yeah, there. Yeah, but, and I'll tell you, because. Yes, you know what? I will be buzzing because there is so much sp talk about Chelsea's transfer policy and this and that. Chelsea never win anything because it'd be good to go. Do you know what? Stick two fingers up to him and say, "They are. We've done it." So yes, th I, I, I will be buzzing. And Liverpool were buzzing last year when they beat us in the final, right? You ask a Liverpool fan, it's, it's the last cup club one. Yeah, you know, Spur. You'd win it. You, you'd be buzzing. I'll be buzzing. You'd be buzzing. Yeah, of course, right? you'd be buzzing. Yeah, Ipswich. They'll not be buzzing this year in this competition. <laughs> They're out. <laughs> They're gone. They're gone. They're in a bit of a stinger. Um, yeah. I, I, I mean, listen, right? They, they've played Liverpool, Man City, so you can let them off in the Premier League. Yeah. But when it comes to the Carabao Cup, you get beat by Wimbledon. Yeah. Then okay. you're like, hold on a minute. That's... Yeah, that's, that's that's a little bit of a kick to, to, you know, kick to the stomach, that, isn't it? That's a, yeah. It's not a great one. But I don't think Ipswich fans, when they look back over this season, if they stay up, we're bothered. They'll be buzzing if they stay up. That's where they'll be buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they, they be buzzing. They stay up. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Are you buzzing to be in the competition or not? The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.